So, winter is coming. For all us beautiful people in the Midwest, up north, and somewhere else, you guys know that cold weather stinks. And me, as an avid rider of motorcycles, I know that cold weather stinks. And last year, I developed a solution for you guys. I showed you guys some of the gear that I used to ride last year. Now, it's time to take that up a notch and get into the world, the wild, the wild world of heated gear. Check all this out. Check all this out behind me. I'll be showing you guys a solution, not just for riders, but for anybody who hates the cold and wants to stay warm. During this Black Friday era, during this Christmas era, I will show you not only gloves, but socks, pants, and a vest, all of which are heated, all of which provide me a lot of warmth, all of which I have tested for you guys already and will continue to test throughout the winter months. Show you guys where I got it, how much it cost, how it works, and we'll get right into the video. I'll show you about that, but before we do, my name is Pearl Woods, Trail Santiago, call me what you want to call me. Please don't call me cold. Let's hop right into the video. So, let's get right into the gear, starting with the stuff that I use the most. These are the Wolf Soto heated gloves. As you guys can see, they look huge on me, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, these gloves were $70. They are on Black Friday sales right now for about $60, and on a normal day, they go for about $80. So, you're not getting a huge sale there with the gloves, but when I tell you that it's worth it, it will change your life. These charge using these Wasoto 3000 milliamp hour power polymer batteries. And they're going to go into the attached compartment under the hand there. You're gonna slide them in, zip them up, and now you have your glove. Now to turn on these gloves, they have three heat settings. There's a power button here. You press and hold it, get it to its highest setting. This is going to be three for hot, hot, hot. When I am riding, these gloves changed my life because on the old bike, the VTX, I didn't have any sort of wind guards. Now I do. But these also being waterproof and water resistant help me in the rain and in cold temperatures in general because the heat coils on this specific glove are built not only into the back of the hand, but the palm and every single finger has its own wired heating coil. So it actually heats up the entire hand very well. I can already feel it. Um, these gloves, I'd have to say, are a 8 out of 10, they're 10 out of 10. They're pretty close. Um, the only thing I would want more from these is uh, better touchscreen integration. These do have the ability to work with a touchscreen, although again, when you're working with gloves this thick, you're not going to be able to do that um, that easily. These are a medium. I'm five foot seven and very thin, as you guys can tell. Um, but yeah, you put one battery pack in each of the battery compartments, and they charge via that same outlet that you use to plug the battery itself in. So if you check right here, you've got this little hole. It comes with a charger that puts two extra. Uh, it charges both at the same time into a standard wall outlet, so you can go ahead and charge up. If you want an extra pair of batteries, they're about $30 an extra set. I do carry two with me at all times because on maximum heat, um, pretty much all of these appliances will guarantee around three hours on maximum heat, six hours on the medium setting, and about 12 hours on the low setting. Although in extreme cold, you're going to want it on the high setting all the time. So keeping an extra stack of batteries with you somewhere never hurts to have. Um, moving on. We have the same brand, Wasoto, on Amazon. They also sell heated socks. Now, these just came in a few days ago, and I was a little skeptical about socks, uh, not only because of the washing mechanic of them. Obviously, you have to keep them not stinky, but the fact that I felt like my feet were always freezing, and I was a doubter when I first got into the world of heated gear. I, did, I didn't think that the heating was going to do all that much. These socks single-handedly changed my mind. They're from the same company, and they use these 3,000 milliamp hour battery packs, very similar to the ones that they use for the gloves, and they actually charge with the same charging method, as you guys can see here, but unfortunately, the socks use USB-C to power the sock battery, and for the gloves, they actually use their proprietary charging. So, unfortunately, you cannot interchange the glove with the sock battery packs. That was something that I was very interested in doing 
didn't end up happening. And so, unfortunately, yes, you cannot, you cannot interchange these battery packs as much as I wanted to. But the solution is very much the same. On the outside of each sock, you will have a USB-C charging solution here. All you're going to do is go ahead and plug that in there. You're going to see the lights turn on and the sock is already on and ready to go. Now with the sock, instead of having your 3 2, one charging solution here, you're actually gonna have a ton of colors. So this pink one here is what you use to quickly heat up the sock if you need it very fast. This blue is the medium, this white is the low, and this red is the high. And so those are gonna be the four different colors you have on your socks. I took these out earlier today, I was just out shopping, and I decided I'm gonna wear all my heated gear just to have some fun. See how warm it is. It's about, our real feels in like the high 30s here, um, which is not cold, but yesterday it was at about 11 because we got our first snowfall in the Chicago land area. And these socks, single-handedly, you don't obviously have to buy all of this. I'm just giving you a quick overview of everything I have. And if there's a specific piece you want, go ahead and chase it. But these socks out of everything here was the by far the most impressive item that I have purchased. Within two minutes, my feet were warm, and as soon as I turned them off, I could feel my, my feet quickly cooling back down. Like you can like physically feel, if you can physically feel the item cooling you down when you turn it off, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping you warm. And so I love these socks. I think these are great additions to my heated collection. And these socks, I believe, were also 80. These were not on sale for Black Friday, although I have seen on Amazon prices as low as 50 for these or comparable items. So those were the gloves, those were the pants. Now let's get into the juicy stuff. We'll start with the pants. These are an Amazon brand of pants. Um, I will link everything that I purchased in the description. This one had a company name that I did not remember or recognize. The only reason I remembered was Soto was because I have the gloves and the socks from the same brand. And I wanted them to have a full range of stuff, but unfortunately not. I will give you a tip about buying these pants. These, the brand here says Fernita. And these are your jogging pants. I have these in a medium. And on the outside, they do look like traditional jogging pants. Although, however, if you reach into the left pocket, you have a USB-A port. And if you look inside the pant, you have beautiful, beautiful lining here. Um, this is great insulation, keeps you super warm without the pants even being on. And I bought these specifically to wear under my jeans. So I was specifically looking for a thin jogger, which this is borderline thick, it's not the thinnest. But I was looking for one that was, um, Thin enough to fit under a jean, which it does, and that uses USB-A charging instead of a proprietary battery like the pants and the, or the gloves and the socks do. And so USB-A is really handy because, as I said, they have these $15 battery packs at um, Best Buy. And when you plug your pant in, you can take the battery pack, throw it in there, and then as you guys can see, if I press and hold here, the, it lights up. And these are six zone heating. So you're gonna have, actually these are, I believe these are eight zone heating. So you have two coils in the front. You have two coils under the knee. You have two coils on the back under your leg right here. And then you skip here and you have two coils on the buttock. And these are heavy, especially with a portable charger on. But when you wear them, you are so comfortable. You are so warm. I'm gonna throw them on for you real quick. They are a little difficult to put on, weirdly difficult, because um, the coils themselves do tend to get in your way when you're trying to stick your leg in there, so be careful when you put them on. But these are very similar to how the gloves and the socks work, where you have a high red, a medium white, and a low blue. So you're gonna have your three different heating settings there. These tend to really heat up your knee pad areas, so for those riding a motorcycle in the winter, you guys know the knee right here is the coldest part of your body. So to have the heating, and you can actually feel the wiring through here right there, um, makes a tremendous difference when it comes to riding in the cold. These are night and day. If it's cold outside and I know I'm going for a longer ride as I do, I will always carry these pants under me forever. 
I mean, these are super nice. These pants were the cheapest, second cheapest item of the lot. The gloves and socks actually were the most expensive at $70 and $80 a piece. These were only, uh, I believe, $60 for these pants. And again, I'll link them down in the description. They had a slight Black Friday sale, but I usually see them ranging from around $55 to $65 for these pants here. I think I got them right smack dab in the middle at $60. And they are already heating me up, and I'm hot from talking. So we're going to turn those off, and I'm going to move on to the final item, um, possibly my favorite besides the socks. This is my favorite item because as much as I love the socks, you can't wear them every day because they're going to get stinky. And washing them, they all come, every item here comes with a wash bag that you put and you can wash them in the laundry safe. I have not done that, so I will not vouch for that. I am scared of doing that, so I haven't done it yet. And as far as the jacket goes, it is the most easily uh, accessible item of the bunch. It is the one that I can wear the most often without having to inconvenience myself. This is, let's see if I can find a brand. Kawela, K-A-W-E-L-A. On the jacket this is a koala uh, jacket here and as you guys can see it has no sleeves because it's not an actual jacket it is a I'm brain farting I don't know what the name of the uh, anyway it is a koala jacket this came for only $55 and when you zip it down you'll notice on the inside left hand side of the pocket so same side as the pants you have a USB-A port here as well. And so, if I throw in my USB-A port right here, you can see it turns on the battery pack. I come in, I can actually zip this up, zip this up right here, and have my jacket ready. So I've got a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack in here, 20,000 in the pants. If you do have a portable charger that has two USB A's, and this is one of my tips for owning a set like this, if you have a, a portable charger with two USB A's, I do have one that works. I actually can carry only one charger and have both the jacket and the pants running off of it because they use the same connector. You need to find a portable charger that carries both. These deal uh, energizer packs only have one USB A, so you have to carry one for each the jacket and the pants. Although, honestly, you might it might feel awkward at first. You might not be used to it, but as someone who plays religious Pokemon Go, having battery packs all over my body is something I'm very used to. And the jacket does not disappoint because you have heating zones here in the front chest, you have heating zones here in the bottom chest, you have heating zones on the upper and lower back, and the best heating zone I've ever felt in my life is an actual coil that runs throughout the lip of the neck of the jacket. So when you turn this on by pressing and holding the power button here, you'll see you have four different light options. This just turns on and off the lighting, but you have separate buttons for each zone of your body. So this zone right here on your left is going to be for the jacket right here, the front of the jacket. You've got high, medium, low, and high. So they all kind of use the same color scheme. As long as you know red's high, you can go down from there and see what the other colors are. You have your heating zone for your upper shoulders, chest, and neck. This is its own heating zone there. And then you have one for your entire back. So you have one coil here and two down here. One up, up here and two down here. So you have three different options there. The neck, the neck. Can we talk about that for a second? The neck on this, on this jacket is life changing. And I know I'm, I'm gassing this stuff up. I'm making it sound way cooler than it probably is. For a lot of you people, you're like, oh, heated stuff, come on. But as someone who hates the cold, has lived in the Midwest all his life, and hates the cold, having these gear options with me have made it so that I can go outside and not suffer like I always do, especially when I'm out on the bike. And now this is specifically to my motorcycle riders. Having these heated options greatly increases your stamina for long trips. I'm someone who, as long as there's not snow or ice on the road, I will be doing 100, 200 mile, 300 mile days in sub-freezing temperatures. I travel everywhere, riding is my thing. I love visiting people, I love going to places, I love being at meets and everything. I do it all. And so I can't do that 
if I am a icicle by the time I get there. And so that's why I decided to invest in this heating gear. Again, 55 bucks here, 65 bucks here. You've got two $70, $80 items. So you're looking at around $300 for everything. You don't need everything. If I could pick one item out of everything, I would pick the vest for most normal applications. But if I could pick my favorite item, it would be the socks because they make the biggest difference um, for my body. And having all four of these greatly increases the ability for me to go out and explore. But even if it's uh, something like snowboarding or being on the snow or, or long walks to a bus stop or whatever the case is, having heated gear genuinely is a game changer when it comes to fighting off the cold and I've chosen to invest in all of these heated gears from Amazon because all of these items a it's Amazon it comes in like 14 seconds and if you don't like it or it doesn't fit you can throw it back at them and B because I know that I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside like this weekend we have our Pokemon uh, wild area event Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll be in downtown Chicago for that. And if you know anything about downtown Chicago in November for 20 hours in a weekend, you know you're gonna get cold. And so I preemptively bought this stuff not only just for that, but for the rides that I'm going to have uh, all winter long. We're gonna be doing a Toys for Tots ride. We've got all these rides planned. And so if I'm gonna be part of all of that, I need to make sure I keep myself warm. And having something like a vest, which is the word I was thinking of earlier, over a jacket is super nice because you can throw this on under a jacket and not have to worry about having six layers of arm stuff, keeping your arms super great. The great thing about having gloves from Wasoto like these is they have a super open end uh, glove design. They're not cramped at the end of the glove. They're super open. So you can fit your jacket sleeve under here and allow wind to travel over the glove instead of travel into your arm and keep you warm, cold. Um, these are just great items. So if I were to update how I'd ride for the winter, I'd do everything the same as last year, but instead of having the, um, the inner layer of the Revit Tornado and Hurricane set, I would instead have this, put a pair of jeans over here, put a hoodie on, maybe a jacket over here, and I'd be set. And I'd wear my boots and have my heated socks and my heated gloves. And now you're warm. And every item here, as I was stating, has about three hours of charge with these batteries here. So your socks will only last about three hours, your gloves will only last about three hours, your jacket and pants will only last about three hours with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. So again, a battery that's about two and a half times a normal phone battery. This are 20,000 milliamp hour batteries. So if you have one of these in your jacket, one of these in your pants, suddenly you're on for six hours. You're warm for six hours. More, possibly, if you have an extra battery pack. Like I said, I was carrying multiple battery packs because I know I'm gonna do all day morning or sunrise to sunset winter trips. And if I'm doing a sunrise to sunset winter trip and I'm riding, I know I'm gonna need more than just three hours of battery heat. And that's the problem that you have to tackle ahead of time because you can just run everything on its lowest setting, have it last 12 hours, sure, but now you're not as warm. And if you're walking around, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need any of this stuff at its highest setting. But what if you do? And now your stuff's dead, and now you're cold, like the rest of everybody else. Or you can just be slick and stylish and have something warm that keeps you warm ever. So my recommendation for heated gearing 2024, winter of 2024, I guess, is it, is it winter yet? I mean, we had snow on the ground last night, right? My suggestion for winter gear for 2024, for anybody who feels like they want a head to toe heating solution for their body that's not just yourself, is a vest of some sort, pants of some sort, gloves and socks of some sort, and making sure to keep at least an extra stack of all battery applications in case that the batteries on any of these devices run out. I would say the gloves are gonna run off the fastest. Your socks you're never gonna to need to have on the highest setting, I don't think. Anyway, and carrying 40,000 milliamp hours of charging on you also means you can also plug into any of this stuff to charge a phone or a laptop or a watch or anything, anything you really need, a camera, right? You'll always have a whole bunch of extra battery power on you at all times 
Again, some of the stuff is a little heavy. Again, some of the stuff is uh, a little inconvenient to charge or to have charging. But if you plan correctly, this stuff will ensure that you are warm throughout the entire winter. And you guys will be seeing me wear this pretty much all winter. And with that, I just wanted to uh, show off my new heated collection of stuff. So as we reviewed, we have a jacket um, made by Camella. And this is about $55, $50 jacket. It's got a whole bunch of heating coils, including the back heating neck section. You have pants, which have not only fleece lining in the middle on the inside, but they have eight zones, including your butt, to keep you warm on those long rides that you can have under a pair of pants. These are thin enough to fit under a, a pair of jeans. Um, you have your Wasoto gloves right here that have a battery pack in the middle. Everything here is waterproof or water resistant to, to some extent, so you don't have to worry about any of the internal electronics getting damaged unless you dump it underwater. But the Wasoto gloves, especially water resistant, um, got the three hours six hours and 12 hours of heating here with the included battery packs in which you can buy more of. And then last but not least, we have the Wasoto, the Wasoto socks that also have the same amount of charging stats, but have a quick heating function and use USB-C battery packs to charge. <sighs> it's a worn on sentence, but if you did enjoy me showing you guys the best way to stay warm this winter, whether you're riding or not, in 2024 on Amazon during Black Friday sale weekend, during the winter holiday season, the Christmas giving season. If you know someone who just can't stop complaining about how cold they are, these are also great gifts for any of them as well. And can be adjusted for anybody's budget. They carry cheaper stuff than this. They carry much more expensive stuff than this. This is a middle of the road. As long as it has the features I need, I'll buy it by right set. If you enjoyed the video, and want to get me a bottle of water. I don't lose my breath. Um, leave a like down in the comment. Leave a like down in the comments below. Tell me about what gear you like. Tell me if you think carrying 16 battery packs in you is crazy, because it is. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Now, last year I had, I believe, the Revit Tornado set that I used under base layer and that's how I stayed warm and I used that with like some jeans over it and jackets whatever the case is this year we're taking it up a notch we're gonna start off and I'm gonna explain all four of the items all of these I ordered off Amazon um, they are all from overseas they're all overseas products and I'll tell you about the budgets the sales they have and how much they normally cost later but for the point of group we'll start with charging so right now the deal the deal that you can actually get from Best Buy are these 20,000 milliamp hour Energizer battery packs. I currently have four. Um, they have the 20,000 milliamp hours, which if you guys don't know, is about six times the normal iPhone. Um, these were $15 and the 10,000 milliamp hour ones, which are the same uh, size, but they're just half as thin. Those were only $10. So for 40 bucks, you can pick up two of these 10,000 milliamp hour bat or 20,000 milliamp hour battery batteries and one 10,000. Very cool 